morning everyone and welcome to our new life with Natalia Kritsenko and today we're going to talk about taking photos. Um, nail photos is a big um, big thing right now since a couple of years we're very um, we changed a lot in, in how we see the photos how we take the photos what do we want to see in the photos and we decided to talk about it well it's Natalia's idea and I, I think it's fantastic if you look at my um, photos years ago, it was always something like this and then eventually like this and then usually on the black background and the, the light itself wasn't very good and also the nails, I couldn't, I didn't know what what is important to see on the nails. So one day uh, again, I, when I went to Netherlands, I had an educator class, an, a new educator class uh, with Natalia and um, Katerina Gonchar, you could see her in the uh, in that little commercial. So they were ta teaching us how to um, how to make them look beautiful. What do you need to see on the pictures? How to find the beautiful background? How to be outstanding on Instagram and other social media? And Natalia is going to talk a little bit about it today. So it's a full course uh, you can take with us, but. Uh, it's actually just a little bit where we'll just give you some ideas to uh, change your <clears throat> nail uh, life, um, nail photos. So Natalia uh, asked to join, but she's not here. Anyways, we will wait for her for a couple seconds. Of course, um, for the Russian speaking uh, uh, friends, I remind you about a marathon we have with a nail fairy. Uh, for mostly Canada and USA, but also from all over the world, you are welcome to join. You can see the promotion in my stories. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel that you can find in uh, my bio. And um, if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to my and Natalia's um, and Natalia's channel. So I'm trying to add Natalia again. Natalia, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hello, good morning. Oh, I was here without my headphone and I'm like, hmm, let me put it in. So it's going to be better. So, just a second, I will put on some mask. <laughs> okay, which mask I want to have today? Magnetic? <laughs> yeah, this one nice or yes. <laughs> So I was just talking about um, the photos, how my nail photos changed after the course with you and Katerina. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, we are w willing to know more if you are willing to share with us um, what is important in the nail photos, what kind of backgrounds you can choose and some ideas to start with. And then if um, girls or boys decide to take uh, your or my course, they are welcome to later on. Uh, about the pictures that uh, we know that especially nowadays we mostly live in internet and uh, somehow we have to let people know who we are and especially like for instance if I'm a nail tech then of course I have to show the quality of my work because otherwise how people will see uh, what I can make if I'm actually I'm hiding this so like today if you have something, you have to show it to the world. You have to show it all over the social media. And uh, it's extremely important to share your knowledge and you share your capacity and also uh, share your love and passion to nails uh, through pictures. Also, what I noticed that still many nail techs, um, they don't know how to take a proper pictures because... Uh, then you see, like, this is just a picture. But just a picture, you know, you're not, you will not attract people with that. You have to take a picture that people will look at this and they will say, wow, I want to have the same. So, before taking a picture, of course, you have to think what can make you being, um, how to say, admired with something. So, uh, because this is just, uh, it, it's the first step how to get to your target audience. Because normally, like, we are attracting people the same as we are. So, it means that everything that, not everything, but mostly that I like, 
uh, my target audience will like the, uh, the same. Not the same, but very similar. So that's why our first step, step has to be like, do I like this work? This is just the first. Uh, not only like a picture, before taking picture, we have to ask ourselves, do we like our nails that we made? And if question is yes, then it means that's a perfect time to start making a picture. It's my biggest problem uh, because I'm a perfectionist. I know what is wrong with my nails. And uh, if I'm doing them very fast and just in a salon setting and just just like a feel and beautiful artwork and everybody's like, ooh, they're so pretty. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to take pictures. Just like, goodbye, goodbye. And, and then like, <laughs> so you're not taking picture. What don't you like about that? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you say actually you, you already answered the question that normally uh, we are taking picture of the work that we're really proud of. So uh, all of us, all of nail techs, they are extremely, uh, yeah, perfectionist. Uh, and this is good about that. Uh, but still, we have to be honest with uh, we have to be honest with ourselves and uh, see that if it's good work, then we definitely have to take a picture. Sometimes, of course, hey, we are just humans and sometimes we have bad days. That's okay. But still, we have to do our best to do the perfect job. So, as I said, the first step is perfect nails. And second step is actually to take a picture. First, we have to think how we would like to place nails so then they will be visible. That even for us, it will be like, wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I still see like sometimes there are like a bit old fashioned way, old fashioned way, uh, to promote their work when people placing nails like that. Uh -huh. And it's not a good idea because it's, uh, okay. Uh, if I will place it like this, what you can see now, I can tell you my crown <laughs> because my, my background is stealing all attention from nails. <laughs> That's right. So uh, that's why we also have to think uh, not only about placing nails, but placing, yes, but also about the background, because background uh, have to play around the object and not like overtaking the attention. That's also very important. So that's why okay. the best way for our days, for nowadays, just to take, uh, to take a picture, not for full, like full set, especially like that, it's... You can see, you cannot see anything. This is just like this. Fingers, fingers. Like this, it's also very funny. But sometimes, you know, I I also saw some pictures that made like that, and I would say that uh, the fingers were so nice and placement was so good that to me it was like okay. <laughs> so uh, idea is that when you are placing, then uh, just be sure that your hand is relaxed and also that all fingers visible. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's take a picture about how we will do it because if I'm placing my hand like that then my camera has to be oh <laughs> <laughs> then my camera has to be parallel to to my uh, to my nails to the surface of the nails mm -hmm. to the surface of the nail mm -hmm. so uh, if I'm placing my nails like this so it means that I have to go underneath Mm -hmm. And then I will see what actually I'm taking. Uh, that's important because <clears throat> the angle uh, will can destroy the whole our work. Like we did beautiful work, we're happy with that, we love these nails, we love this set. And then just not correct picture and we are destroying everything. And of course it's not a good idea. So... Always remember that whatever you are, how you are placing your nails your camera always has to be parallel to the surface of nails that's an important uh, yes. hint yeah device so that that's very important uh this is again it's just first step <laughs> second step light mm -hmm. the light is uh we need a good light and the light has to be like from lamp and yes and they also have so it also depends. If, if you want like this uh, double drop effect, then it's better to use just these round lamps. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you also can use like professional lights when you don't have any 
anything on um, on on your nails. I can't, yes. I can't show it. It's, it's too big exactly. to show. Yes, this is professional light. So whatever light you will have, uh, you also have to remember that um, you have a light, and also you need a reflection from light. So for to have, to have a reflection, you can use or white walls, <laughs> or you can use a special white piece, not special, just normal piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you also can put uh, like mirror foil, so also on, on some cardboard, and not also it will reflect the light itself. So then it will be like contra light. Mm -hmm. Then you will not have less shadow because shadow is not good on our picture, mm -hmm. especially if it's very deep ones, because then we will have too much of light, too much of shadow, and then we are losing the softness of the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it yes. okay? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. So uh, important is that uh, when we are taking our picture, so then our phone, oh, card, <laughs> then our phone also has to be a bit lower than actually, uh, oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Our phone has to be a bit higher than light. Mm -hmm. So if I have the light here, then my phone yes. has to be a little bit behind it. A, li a little bit higher, exactly. Because if you will put it uh, like underneath, so then uh, you can have an effect, yes. Uh, then you can have an effect that your picture will get, will become a bit yellow. And the shadow you have a, And also shadow, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, phone always has to be just just slightly higher than, than actually like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, and important also is uh, that you have to use your phone because for nowadays phone, this is just like, it's all our life. I don't know if, I don't even know if it's good or bad. Yes, always clean your camera before you want to take a picture. Exactly. Otherwise you will have hello everywhere and it's not a good idea at all. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, sometimes you know, like uh, to take a picture, sometimes it takes really a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yesterday I had a model, and um, we did uh, like five different designs, and only, only like taking picture took us like three, three hours, something like that. Only taking picture, like very quickly, like reset the design and then picturing. It's tons of uh, uh, pictures, and then you have to see it, you have to check what is good, what is not good. So you just have to take as much uh, pictures as possible, because then you, you also can check what is in focus, what is not in focus, because unfortunately you cannot see it straight away um, on, on your camera. Mm -hmm. I also, uh, I have been asking Brian to take picture for me, uh, with a good professional camera, and actually he did a good job. But also problem is that he's, he understands the photography, but he does not understand how to take picture of nails. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a bit shocking for me because I was trying to explain to him that, you know, I need it from that angle and taken from that angle. But he said, but this is just good, good enough. It was good enough in his opinion, like uh, like a photographer opinion, but in my opinion, being professional, it wasn't good enough at all. So and and it was really not 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 funny. So that's why actually I just decided that okay, he's perfect in his things, but I just want to to have it a bit differently. So that's why I'm taking all, all my pictures myself. About taking picture of yourself, because when you have a model, this is good. This is just your model. You set up the light. Oh, by the way, background. You set up the light and think about the background. Background also is very important. So don't put too much decoration. That's the rule number number Three. zero. <laughs> yes, <Okay>. number zero. <laughs> <laughs> don't put too, put too much decoration, even you have a beautiful things. Even you have beautiful flowers, especially flowers. When we are using artificial flowers, sometimes with the time, they can get old. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, they're frozen. And you see it, yes. And then, you know, it's, you have beautiful nails and then uh, looking old um, flowers. Not good idea. If it's already happened like that, so then we have to invest into some new uh, bouquet artificial flowers. So mm-hmm. then actually it, it also can be okay. And new, uh, nowadays we have, there's so many beautiful flowers that don't frazzle as fast and they really look very natural because they have a little bit of silicone, but you have to be careful mm-hmm. again so they're not reflecting too much light, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, because they should not be shiny. Mm-hmm. So they should not be shiny and they have to be, they, they should have like a uh, matte surface. And again, uh, when we're using background, just let them be on their screen, but not like in the middle. In the middle, it did it, it, the place of your nails. And uh, your decoration has to be all slightly behind. So then when you're taking a picture, it will um, go, uh, it will be like blurred. So then it will be out of our attention or just a bit on the side. So uh, just always think and play around and to see how, how it will be. Because this is just, uh, it, it's a lot of fun to do it, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think about pictures just on the white background without any decoration? That's absolutely okay. Mm-hmm. So to me, it's absolutely okay because, uh, but you know, just sometimes uh, I like decoration because uh, just with white background, sometimes it looks a bit boring. Mm-hmm. Also sometimes. probably to catch attention in the, in the line, like if you just going through the news feed and just checking the pictures in Instagram or Facebook, yeah. that, that picture catches your attention, right? That you actually click, yes. like, like it. Exactly. And and there are different um, styles to take a picture because uh, we can have a picture with a style. This is just like only nails, some decoration, or only nails with a white background. That's also okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are uh, different styles like flat lay style. So it means that you are taking your uh, picture, uh, keeping your phone completely like uh, par- uh, perpendicular to the surface. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but uh, this, this flat lay is, is really very funny one because uh, then you have to think in front how you want to place your decoration mm-hmm. uh, and then it, it, it looks really very good. Uh, and of course, when we're taking picture of flat lay, so then uh, we don't see nails being too close to us because mm-hmm. your nails and your hand of your model or your own hand, it will be a part of decoration of flat lay. So flat lay also is, is very popular. I still mm-hmm. like it. What do you think is the best st- strategy uh, to have all the pictures on your Instagram in the same uh, style or all different styles? Uh, that's absolutely beautiful question, I would say. Because, as I said, that uh, we are attracting actually our target audience the same as we are. Uh, but on the same time, we need also other people. Because uh, they're like people like I am, like you are, uh, we will be attracted by a certain style of pictures. Mm-hmm. Other people, they will be attracted with different style of pictures. So it means that time to time, I would suggest to change the style. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, first of, first yeah. of all, it will be not, not boring for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And uh, then second, that uh, you have a chance actually to show and uh, to show y- uh, your work, uh, I would say, a bit wider audience. Mm-hmm. Now, now I'm talking uh, like uh, I'm a nail tech and I'm mm-hmm. a nail tech and I just want to attract, I want to get more clients. Mm-hmm. And also I have to think like, for instance, for this target audience, for these people, I can use this picture. For young people, I will use lifestyle pictures. Mm-hmm. Lifestyle, this is like uh, with a phone. Mm-hmm. This is lifestyle. Cup of coffee or, and stuff. Cup of coffee, yeah, outside, uh, like I'm going somewhere uh, and then just taking a picture. You know, this is just like, mood. I, I would also call it them like uh, moody pictures, like mm-hmm. mood, mood pictures, like pounds. That's me. That's my mm-hmm. nails. This is my mood for today. Mm-hmm. No, it's my life. Okay. 
Yeah, Interesting. it's my life. <laughs> Yeah, which is even harder because you cannot just go and do like this because you need to set up the light, put the decorations, <laughs> make sure that your nails actually suit your whatever you have in your hand. <laughs> like... It's always an iceberg. You know, we always can see only little visible parts. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about pictures with just like two nails? Like if I have a... Can I show close up? Like something like just... I very close, it. little, like two nails, if they're made perfectly, we can, of course. We can, uh, we can call them like macro pictures. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say that uh, the, these pictures are absolutely good and they are, by the way, uh, will be very good for perfectionists. So people who are just checking and they see, ha, huh, that's a clean work because then, first of all, they will pay attention how uh, how clean your work is and how perfect it is, and they want to see it from the short distance. So then, this is like these macro pictures; they they will attract perfectionists, and mm -hmm. then if they will see that it is like it is, they have more chances actually to trust you and choose you being uh, their nail tech. Mm -hmm. Photoshop, would you Photoshop uh, only the hands or also the nails? Uh, it's, to be honest, it's very honest to Photoshop the skin, mm -hmm. but not nails. Mm -hmm. So then in this case, it will be, it will be just okay. Uh, what you also can do, because sometimes, you know, you also can like, like correct your lights uh, using um, uh, Lightroom, Adobe mm -hmm. Lightroom. Uh, and it's really very good program. And honestly, to say, I like to use it a lot because all of us, we have different phones. And some phone phones, they have a bit more yellow cast. Some phones, they have a bit like more blue cast. So in that case, it's better to use this Lightroom program just to correct the lights and colors. There is one problem with the Lightroom. Uh, new phones like um, Apple, uh, iPhone 11, uh, mm -hmm. has, you can take uh, raw pictures. When you take raw pictures, then using Lightroom, you can pull out the, the colors, pull out everything. And then clients are coming and saying, I want this color. It's made by you. <laughs> and then I have uh, only one advice. I just <laughs> take the color concentrates and mix that color because I don't have that color, even if it was made by me. <laughs> usually when i'm using um lightroom so then i'm just like uh, removing cast and i'm trying not to touch color of um, of product mm -hmm. so then um then actually it, it, it also should be okay in, the, in that in that way or yes then you also can be creative and just create a new color for your content <laughs> which is also good yeah <laughs> It's a big one. Yes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, just to correct, uh, in Lightroom, I would say it's, it's absolutely a good idea because, as I said, that all our phones, they are different. And uh, you know that uh, one year ago we, did, we took a picture from our course and I was using Samsung and I was using Huawei and I was using uh, Apple. Mm -hmm. And I would say that all of them, they had different casts all of them mm -hmm. so that's why the best way just to correct it how how you see it of course in lightroom and lightroom by the way it's not destroying uh, the quality of the picture mm -hmm. so it's like it's correcting it's playing with colors it's playing with lights but it's not completely destroying uh, the uh, like the quality of the picture mm -hmm which is important, I would say. <laughs> okay, yes. Well, you introduced me to the life room, uh, Lightroom and then I'm still using it. I really like it. And yeah. uh, somebody was asking, like, how to take a good nail picture uh, in, in Facebook? And I was posting about five pictures of my screenshots of one style nail. Uh, it's also trying to, to make it on myself, right? So basically mm -hmm. how you're sitting, you're sitting like this underneath of the light and then you hold yes. the background with your teeth <laughs> and then you're trying to take <laughs> pictures. And of course, it takes like probably two, three hundred uh, shots until you find yes. one. 
only one that is okay ish and then you uh, go through the lightroom and then yes and, and then actually... you can start working with that yeah i understand this completely as i said i also i just took tons of uh, pictures so now i just have to check what is okay what is not okay and just to remove them and then check them again just to find something that actually will be uh will, will be okay for to work with that <laughs> yes what are you looking for yeah uh okay uh, let, let's finish like we're taking picture with ourselves because uh, okay. uh, some of course we just uh, sometimes we have, we are working on ourselves and uh, we have to take picture um the also, also the easiest way will be if you will place a mirror if you place a mirror mm -hmm. so then you can take picture of appearance in your mirror of your nails and you will not lose the quality the quality of picture no but you will have very nice picture interesting i should try that or do of you mean like a little mirror when you have just like the yes yeah. okay. yes yes okay. mirror. so yeah. then it will be like lifestyle picture mhm mm so i get it has it. to be like little mirror yeah and this is also i don't i don't want to say that this is their way but this is like um, some of way what we can do yes like that exactly mm -hmm. yeah i have more of them we were practicing <laughs> oh <okay. laughs> i'm practicing so then you see on that picture you also can see your upper arch your lower arch your apex and actually only in, uh, in this style of picture you also can show everything mm -hmm. oh i found a picture that uh, katerina took on took on my uh, on our training yeah last time. you see just, just three and it's enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's cool so as i said it is not a, it's not uh like necessary to put their all hands this is my favorite one <laughs> oh that's beautiful yeah that's just absolutely two beautiful. nails but uh, they say more than 1000 words <laughs> exactly and this is also like a sort of uh, lifestyle picture and uh, they look absolutely good absolutely good so uh there are uh, like you just have to understand how to use your camera and your phone because mm -hmm. uh, all phones are different just to find out uh how to use it clean your camera and as, you, as you said and also what i <laughs> what i noticed that not many people actually before taking a picture they are tapping on the object on the screen just they're just taking picture that's it if you I, if i want to like take a picture so then what i will do i just will i will find my object and then i have to tap on the object ob object mm -hmm. then my camera will focus on it Mhm. Mm if I will not do it, so then actually it, everything will be just blurred. Mhm. Mm so, uh I, I was surprised that not many people using that. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, uh remember that clean your camera and before taking a picture always tap on object and be sure that on your screen you see that your camera focused. then don't shake your hands just very carefully click and it's done you also by the way can use remotes mhm mm do you have a remote mhm mm do you use it mhm but not okay. well <laughs> uh, if if uh, because uh, when i take pictures of myself mhm mm i have this holder where my I ipad is right yeah. now on i usually have my phone in it right mm -hmm. and then i'm sitting like this holding this holding the background and everything i have like only one chance to take that picture and that from what okay. i have from a very cheap um um yes. how do you call it the selfie stick selfie self stick. i have a st selfie stick that is on a tripod so you, mm -hmm. i can use it as a selfie stick but i can also put it on a tripod and stand it afar and then i can mm -hmm. use that remote and then also for my videos when i'm sitting if i would touch now my screen it would shake Yeah. That's why when I start to take my videos I always use remote. So yes, I'm using yes. remote. Yeah, uh it's it's important to use remote especially if we are making macro pictures because in macro little shaking and then everything is out of focus. Mhm. Mm yeah, then the so, camera has to be in a in, in yes. a stand. Mhm. Mm 
in a holder. Yes. So it has to be on the holder. It has to be like on the stand. And then it's better to use uh, this uh, remote because you set up everything. You see that everything is, is in focus. And then without like touching your phone, then it's better to use the remote. Mm -hmm. uh, I also noticed it when uh, I did uh, pro pictures with my phone. Uh, ma macro pro pictures with my phone and uh, uh, just little little moving of camera and I destroyed everything and with uh, this uh, remote control it was absolutely beautiful because everything was sharp and everything was focused interesting okay yeah if, if you have it use it because then it will be easy for you like uh, yeah it, it's, it's easy <laughs> and then uh, you you will less you will have less uh, non-focused pictures. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, my cat is everywhere. I love your so, cat. I have two. Oh. Mm. And both of them oh, are really? very sweet. <laughs> yes, they are very sweet, especially when they are sleeping. But if they are bored, like now, so she's going to check all oh, plants on the windowsill. Okay, so let's go back to pictures. <laughs> well, Natalia has a lot of cat pictures on her uh, Facebook uh, profile, so you can <laughs> check them out. They're very cute. Yeah, so, uh, somebody, some, somebody just put pictures of their kids. I have pictures of my cats. I don't have cats. I don't put pictures on my, of my kids on Facebook. Sorry. I your, just share your, your pictures. <laughs> your, your kids are already adult, you know. Your kids, <laughs> they have their own profiles. You cannot share picture from their profiles. <laughs> okay. Mm, yes. oh, whoa, whoa, I'm losing nails. So here, the hand. Um, the most beautiful thing we've got lately, the, the somebody mm -hmm. who doesn't complain, who doesn't need to go smoke, uh, when you're taking pictures and um, what do you think about the hand and <clears throat> the color and everything? I would say that uh, uh, I would say that this hand is extremely important to have for trainers. Yes, so you see, especially, especially for trainers because uh, first of all, it's quite expensive. Uh, second, uh, it's so expensive because, <clears throat> because it has high quality silicone. So uh, I would recommend uh, not to use this hand for practicing, but I would recommend to use this hand to promote your work. So like you can make your nails uh, using your like uh, easy trainer mm -hmm. and then just put on the hand uh, and then you can take a picture of the hand. And again, with the hand, uh, it's not necessary like to make all hand. Just a couple of nails will be just enough. So then this is like your stand. And especially being quite, um, how to say, uh, expensive, it's not a good idea actually just to file on this. Mm -hmm. You can destroy and file on something less expensive than, um, than a nail trainer. Nail trainer, oh, sorry, nail trainer, it's a perfect model. Perfect model is absolutely perfect. Actually, just like, like to show your masterpieces. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? I'm using this in that way. I know that like a lot of our colleagues, they are filing on this, but for me being like... <gasps> it's super expensive, yes. It's, I cannot file on this. I, I don't want even, to, you know, I don't want even to, to touch it with anything that can damage it. Mm -hmm. So this is the model. Model, in my opinion, we cannot damage. We just have to keep it just to represent our work like it is and then with this hand model it's also absolutely cool to take a picture because uh, you are just making your masterpiece and then put it on your uh, perfect model and then you can present your work and again what is good about perfect model that it does not want it does not need to go home it does not want to eat it's always with you and it always actually like what you are doing <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I remember that in Holland, what we did one day, like we put it into a sleeve mm -hmm. and just to like uh, uh, gave somebody for, for, like, like for a handshake. 
Oh my god, it was so funny. Like, you know, when the person just said, ah, it's cool. Yeah, you, you, can, you can do a lot of fun with that. Not, not only yeah. use it, like, like actually we have to use it a perfect model. <laughs> well, I have usually three nails in here and I have it in my uh, background. So just, yeah. just to show off a little bit sometimes. So making some stilettos probably and putting in there would look cool. Also on little shows, if you have a little sh a local yes. shows. And also you can put uh, some, what I saw, uh, you can put some rings. Hmm. Oh, good idea. Yes. Then it will look My like real. Diamonds? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, put your diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I just saw this set of rings and I was thinking... They are good. <laughs> for this cool. What I like about those rings, actually, they're, they're pretty cool um, to make uh, the, the nails out of, yeah, like the nail, the, the model nails. Because yeah. uh -huh. I'm oh, using okay. the expensive setting, like of these ones, mm -hmm. right? So they're adjustable. Yes. So they're cool. Yeah. But for the, for the nail model, if you want to, um, and that rings fit in, it's just very easy to dip them in acrylic or gel when you're doing the form and shape and i have also nails made like i made these rings and i made the nails matching so it's wow like, wow yeah, that's, like, that's yeah. nana you're extremely talented Take thank beautiful. you it's years ago i had patience to sit and, and do that because it, like it took me an hour amazing. probably to make the, to make this but beautiful. i might get back to it one day yeah. <laughs> i have all the tools for that so i just should start doing it again yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can use our nail product with everything. So that's that's absolutely good. Yeah, the, the nail trainer, or not my nail trainer, my God, perfect model. Mm -hmm. it, it's really very good. But again, I would suggest to use it for uh, people who do trainings uh, because for nail techs, I would say it's quite quite expensive investment, especially from the beginning. If you already like on the top of your career, career and you mm -hmm. have enough money and you want to practice more, then of course, and you want to present your work more, so then in that case, a uh, perfect model will be just absolutely good choice for that. Mm -hmm. And one last question for today um, mm -hmm. about the tips. Like if you're making an uh, artwork on tips like mm -hmm. this, yes. what is the best way to take a picture of them? Um, I always struggle with that. It's my worst. Like it's really, I have a hard time. For me, like um, what I did before, like recently, uh, because I took a picture of... Uh, Stamping with foil, you see. Mm -hmm. Stamping with foil, it's a stamping. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. I, I should, I should, I should. Yeah, yeah. I, I will show you how to do it. <laughs> so then, uh, because my idea was also want, yeah, I wanted to show that this is a stamping. So then, what I did, I just put here. Uh, I just glue them down with uh, glue tabs. Mm -hmm. You know this one that we have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, because then it, it was, was easy for me, because I have many of them, because I also wanted to hold them, so that's why I glued them like that mm -hmm. to, the, uh, to the stamping plate, mm -hmm. so then everything was straight. Then uh, it was easy for me just to hold it some, somehow here. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is one way. Uh, another way, uh, because the problem is that if you are holding them, like several of them, then everything will be not completely good because uh, everything will be everywhere. Mm -hmm. What you also can do, like you can just break them mm -hmm. or cut them with chip cutter or with your file okay. just to cut them here and then you also can place them uh, on the you know at magnetic we have these uh, beautiful boxes do you have it because mine is a bit far away <laughs> it also has like white this little one? plates yes this one 
Yeah, exactly. And then you can place it again. Mm-hmm. No, you can place it. You can place it using all the content. Yes. My favorite one. Love it. Yes. <laughs> you can place it like using uh, the oh, oh, like with acrylic as well. Mm-hmm. Or what I'm doing, I'm using again glue tops. Mm-hmm. Or you can use. Uh, I'm using oh, magnetic yeah. silicone things here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or all the silicone things. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Yes. So this, because now you know I moved from my workshop and this uh, uh, silicone stuff, they uh, I left at my workshop and here I don't have it. So that's why I'm and just. I moved back into this. my old room, so I have everything <laughs> back in here again. <laughs> yeah, maybe like you know, one month, maybe one and a half months, I will move back because finally we have a spring here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so th- this is one way how you can do it. Or you still can keep it like uh, on... Uh... Like this. And uh, I also have in my workshop uh, on, the, uh, on the side of my table, I have a hooks. You know, mm-hmm. this uh, we hooks uh, just to put the clothes on. Mm-hmm. So they are nice, nice, nicely made hooks. And then I also have a lot of hooks there and I keep my uh, tips there. L- like that, exactly. It's yep. dusty. Sorry, it's dusty. I didn't clean that. I didn't plant it. <laughs> I didn't know it's dusty. <laughs> yeah, at it. at yeah so, so actually this, this is what we can do about this. Like we can mm-hmm. keep it like this or we just can uh, put it into the box how you want it it depends how how you want to present yourself because both ways are okay awesome perfect okay so uh and i heard already that um you offered girls uh the, the classes and i would say that uh, of course we can talk about how to take a picture we can talk about how to correct everything but you know it's still just to uh just to have somebody who will show to you, who will correct you, how to do it in proper way. Because even ourselves, you know, we still are checking each other, like, what do you think about this picture, if it's okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, we, all of us, we need trainings. And I would suggest uh, to people who are listening to us now, just to check if, uh, if they are okay actually to join your course, because this course definitely will change completely their business and completely their career to the best. Mm-hmm. I might need your help in this course, so we will discuss and see if we can do something together. Probably would be better. So we yeah, can yeah, let's do it. Yes, uh, let's do it. <laughs> adjust, like, you know, kind of uh, help each other and get it all together. I think it would be a good mm-hmm. idea. Let's think about it because the quarantine is not over. It's a year already and it's not going to be off for the next couple months. So at least here. Time flies, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It, it's over a year since we've been in uh, Netherlands last year in February with yep. that training, uh, with the um, uh, IDM. And uh, yeah. when I flew back already, uh, the Chinese people were coming back from the um, uh, Chinese New Year's and that's where everything basically uh, started to, to, to shut down, mm-hmm. right? So I was already flying back with like masks and everything. So it was already uh, stressful, and a couple of days later, they started to close all the um, everything. All the, everything, <laughs> all the everything. Everything, <laughs> right. yes. Yeah. Yeah, my last trip, I finished, I finished on 16th of March. My God, it was... Yeah, we shut um, down on the 15th. Yeah, I completely mm-hmm. shut down. Yes. Okay, so in any way, it is what it is. Uh, luckily we have internet luckily this oh by the way today we have a very good internet finally we bought it we have very high speed internet (laughs) congratulations (laughs) now i have to catch up with you (laughs) i have quick but it's upstairs i'm downstairs so yeah i think that's it for today and it's a a lot of uh, useful information uh if you guys want us to uh discuss your work please don't hesitate to send us pictures we probably will give you some advice of course we cannot teach each individual um just um giving a lot of um, hints but if you have some pictures and want us to 
tell you something, send me or Natalia your pictures or your questions. Also, if you have questions to any other topics, um, please ask. So we have more topics to talk about um, in our Wednesday meetings. And I hope we will continue at least as long as the quarantine is on. Thank you, Natalia, for joining us. And Thank you. Thank you very much. And everyone. have a nice pictures and have a nice have a nice day in front. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, my day is long. And good night for everyone in Europe and good day here. In, and good day for America. <laughs> Thank you. See you next okay, week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.